This week, we are reading a story that has to do with friendship. And friends can be helpful in so many ways. The story you are going to listen to today is a tale about some animals that help each other. As I read this story today, I'm going to show you how to read clearly and use expression. When characters talk, it's important to use expression to make the story sound more interesting. As you listen to the story, I also want you to think about the story structure. Remember that a story takes place somewhere and we call that the setting. A story also has characters, a problem, and events. The characters are usually trying to solve the problem and that's what makes up the story. And an ending is at the end and sometimes the problem is solved and sometimes it's not solved. So think about those things as you hear our story today. Let's begin. This story is titled, Frog Helps Snake. One day, Frog was hopping through the forest when he reached a large tree that had fallen across the path. He was just about to jump over it when he heard a voice crying out, Help me! Somebody please help me! I'm stuck! Frog saw that Snake was pinned to the ground by the tree. Always helpful, Frog strained and strained, and at last he lifted the heavy tree enough so that Snake could slither out from under it. Get ready to be swallowed, hissed Snake, grabbing Frog's leg. Hey, I helped you, and now you want to eat me? That's no way to repay a kind deed said Frog. Just then, Fox, hearing the commotion, sauntered over to see what was going on. Tell me what happened, he demanded. Frog said, I freed Snake from the fallen tree, and now he wants to eat me. Is this true, Snake? asked Fox. When Snake verified that it was true, Fox said, you must show me what happened. Frog, lift the tree and Snake, you get back under it. Frog strained and strained until he had lifted the tree enough for Snake to slither back under it. Then Fox commanded Frog to drop the tree onto Snake. Snake, what you did was wrong. One should never repay a good deed with a bad one. You will have to remain pinned to the ground by the tree until you have learned your lesson, judged Fox. Frog thanked Fox for saving him, and then the two friends hopped and trotted along the path through the woods. So who were the characters in our story today? Did you guess the frog, a snake, and a fox? Because if you did, you are correct. They were the characters. The, the characters are the people who the story is about. What was Frog's problem in this story? The snake wanted to eat the frog even after the frog had done a good deed for him. Let's think, one more, think about one more thing with story structure. How does the fox help the frog solve his problem? The fox tricked the snake, didn't he? He tricked the snake into getting pinned under the tree. This was also a trickster tale and sort of a fable at the same time. The characters acted in human ways, even though they were animals and we can learn a lesson from this story. All right, you are all finished. You can replay this if you'd like to, or you can go on to your assignment on Seesaw.